Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Because we finished all of them. Friends like these, 400 days in, survived Nate. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Maybe five? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We'll you okay? Of course. Sorry, I think my dog... My dog was getting comfortable and I thought his nail got stuck. But we'll see what happens. Holy shit! Good job! Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hi! Hey! Don't you- Bits! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you?! My name I'm... is Tavia. How did you find us? I found, I your, found note. your note. Well, all your notes. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, Boom. I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Hold up. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. I don't want to get stuck with some crazy asshole like Russell did. I walked away from that oh, shit, Wyatt. Yeah. And that dude was crazy from Jump Street. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Shell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care yeah. how safe you think it is. That truck yeah. stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. Guys, trust me. We need to get to this place. Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly, you clearly outnumber are. me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. Okay. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I'm going. Gotta give it a shot. And if you don't like it, y'all can vamoose. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. 
I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. We have people of all ages in our colony. Teenagers, whole families. It's a chance to reconnect with people the way you used to. That's not true. I believe her, Becca. Look at her. This is not someone who's been struggling the way we have. It makes sense. Can you promise my sister will be safe? She'll be as safe as she was before all this happened. Shell, this might sound stupid, but I think I actually want to go. Okay. If and if you don't like it, it, I'm glad you feel If you don't like way. it, you can vamos. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? Burn them. There are old this cells. This is a good thing. I know it is. Did we win? Buy it? How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. I give you my word. Okay, so whose foot did we shoot off? You and 30% of players shot Danny. Oh, wow. That, that's a... That's a very low percentage of people... Um, of people who shot his sh shot Danny's foot instead of Justin's. I kind of want to go back and do that because I kind of feel bad. Cuz I would def I I would have definitely shot off Danny's foot. <laughs> I'm not Danny's but Justin's foot. I would have shot Justin's foot instead of Danny's. Okay. You and 50% of players got out of the car. What car? Oh. Oh, with, with Wyatt. Okay. Uh, you and 75% 75, 75 of players left Nate. Of course, I wasn't going to stay with that fucking asshole. For one, he's a perv. For two, he's crazy as fuck. Just for wanting me to rate um, a zombie girl's rack. Why the fuck would I not leave him? And on top of that, he wanted to kill those old people. Bro, just leave the old people to die in peace. Well, not peace, because the, sh the wife got shot. But still. <laughs> um, you and 25% of players were honest. Oh, well, technically, I wasn't honest. I just kind of stayed silent and kind of avoided the question. 25% <laughs> um, of players killed Stephanie. Did you leave, leave in the RV or kill Stephanie? What would have happened if we left in the RV, though? Granted, we would still end up at this point. But yeah, what would have happened? I kind of want to go back and replay stuff and rethink my choices, but, you know. Oh. Okay, so only three of us left the camp. And only two of us stayed. How, how would we have gotten everyone to leave? That's what I want to know. Alright, so this was 400 days. It was very short, and I quite enjoyed it. And gave you like a little more of the atmosphere of like what happened and what the hell's going on. But I do wonder if Vince told everybody where. Uh, I do wonder if Vince told everyone that he was a prisoner or a criminal. Like we did with Lee. We told everybody that, you know, we killed the dude. Technically, Vince and Lee are kind of parallel, except Lee was on his way to prison, to jail. But uh, Vince was on his way to prison. <laughs> um, great atmospheric vibe, though. Oh, that's what happened to the, to the cop. Well, I guess in the end, the old couple died together. I 
at least we somewhat know what happened to Danny. But poor Danny, <laughs> trying to escape with no foot. And then we found him with Wyatt, so I just left him there because I, I kind of knew that he was already dead, so I wasn't going to bother with that. Nate is still on his own. Yep, that was when with Wyatt and when we left the cop. And then the diner got overran. I would like to thank you for watching 400 Days of the Walking Dead with me, Mama Defu. I hope to see you guys in the next gameplay. I hope you have a good day, night, or anything in between. Goodbye!